Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look back one whole year and find out was that haul worth it? So this is a series where I look back on monitoring my beauty purchases which is another series that I do. Um, so basically I'm going to be having a look at the products that I purchased in the month of August 2019. Um, if you can hear magpies singing the song of their people outside, they're singing the song of their people. To be fair, it's it's a cold ass day, but it's nice out there. We got blue skies and freezing cold, crisp air. Um, anyway, forgive the birds, but let's get into the products. So I made ColourPop purchase apparently uh because i have the orange you glad and the aha uh -huh honey palettes right here did i ever use these that is the question i think i did nope i never used aha uh -huh honey that's pristine did i use orange you glad yes i did use orange you glad looks like i may have used it once or twice am i sure i didn't use aha uh -huh honey i feel like no, it's literally, I think I swatched one shade. Buzzkill. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's the thing. I actually don't mind Colourpop eyeshadows. Um, I think like, you know, in terms of purchasing them for like little capsule palettes like this, the pan size is small, which is great. I like the colour selection, all that jazz. The formula is like, it's okay. It's fine. It's. I don't expect much from Colourpop, you know, nine US dollars a palette, I think they are. Fuck, what do you expect? I have two Super Shock shadows here as well. I've got Baby Talk and Cutologist. So Cutologist, I had to dig through my declutter drawer to find it, which is getting very full. So I need to film a declutter video, uh, but that's a shade there. I just don't feel like I need it. I mean, it's pretty pretty but I don't feel like I need it uh, and baby talk is like she looks she looks red she looks red but she comes off fairly pink uh, it's got pink undertones which is a shame but that's uh, in my current eyeshadow project so I'm playing with that I don't know if it's gonna stay or go We'll find out, uh, but Cutologist is going straight back in the declutter drawer because I don't need that shit in my life. It would appear that in August we made a trip to the uh, Estee Lauder corporate store here in Melbourne, uh, which I... have we done that this year? I feel like we did go really... I feel like we went in January. Do we go in January? I can't remember. Anyway, I think we went. I purchased stuff. So I purchased MAC eyebrows in fling. So these are the um, little like skinny brow pencils. Now they have repackaged these. Um, they're still skinny brow pencils, but they're retractable, whereas uh, they never used to be. And these are the non-retractable ones. Fling is a colour that I love and um, I can wear it in my brows. I actually bought three of these. One of them we used in an episode of the Makeup Breakup where we were looking at non-retractable uh, makeup products. And I still have those two there. I'll definitely use them eventually. I've been sort of like trying to... Oh, I'm trying to pan one of the... The liquid like pen version of these um, or they're just one of their pen brow products um, and I'm I'm on my last one and then I'm going back to micro brow products because I miss my micro brow products I also picked up the Bobbi Brown luxe liquid lip high shine in shade red the news um, this is a beautiful red shade gorgeous uh, I just haven't worn it I haven't worn it and it smells like paint so there we go I'm gonna hold on to it because I feel like I should fucking at least try it I'll try and leave it I'll leave it on the desk I'll leave it on the desk and I'll try to use it I just forgot that I had it I've got too many lip products way too many lip products 
I really need to sort of reassess that area of my life. But um, I just haven't done that yet. Oh, I also have this guy. This is a Tom Ford brush that I picked up. It is the number four, uh, what are you called? Shade and Illuminate brush. So it is a, I think it's a synthetic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's synthetic. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's like a paddle brush for applying contour and highlight and stuff like that. I use it every now and then. I actually don't mind this for applying concealer. It's a decent size brush for doing, um, you know, mid-sized jobs. So there you go. I'll never pass up the good Bobbi Brown brush if I see it at the corporate store, for sure. There is something on my list over here that I don't have in this room because it's in my bedroom and it's sort of in my, like, you know, travel makeup bag, I suppose. Um, it probably shouldn't be in there because there ain't going to be any travelling this year. Um, it is the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Ultra Corrective Liquid foundation. So I bought this in the peak of my acne breakout last year um, before I went on the medication in September and um, I bought it in hopes that it would be a good foundation that would offer coverage, oil control um, and not be like aggravating my acne or making it worse. Beautiful foundation. Really like it. The coverage is really good. I will say uh, as now a person with dry skin, um, it's not like it can be a little bit uncomfortable because my skin is dry, obviously, and it is targeted probably more towards normal to oily skin. Um, but the coverage is great. The shade range is not great. But if you have oily skin, I would actually totally recommend that foundation. Okay, let's talk about, okay, let's talk about this and then finish with some lip products. Uh, Marc Jacobs Fine Liner. This is in Fine Wine. Ooh, I do love these so much and I would really enjoy it if they would release some more shades that I like because uh, I pretty much own all of the shades that I want to own. So please expand the range so I can buy more of these. Um, I love that these are like, they are skinny, skinny, skinny pencils. Um, so you can do a wing with it. You can tight line, you can put it on your waterline, you can put an itty bitty bit on your lower lash line and then like smoke it out. Once these set, they stay put on me completely. I love them. I love the Marc Jacobs liner formula. It just works for me. It works and it'll probably always be a favorite. Um, I will definitely try other brands because you know, I like to explore other brands, but Marc Jacobs, they will always have a place in my heart and I have confidence in them because my experience in the past has been outstanding. And now I have two lip products. So I'm gonna put them both on because why not? Over my Pat McGrath lip balm. Um, so Lipstick Queen, I talked about two of these last month uh, because I bought two of them in the month of July. 2019 and then in August I bought another one because I like them so much. So this is a Rear View Mirror Lip Lacquer. This is in the shade Little Nude Coupe. So when I saw this one in store and I swatched it, I was like, no, that's going to be too light for me. It's going to look like a concealer lip. Uh, so I bought the Darker Nude and then when I actually wore the Darker Nude, I was like, nah, nah, I was wrong. I'd totally be able to wear this one. So uh, I bought it. There we go. So this is pretty much a my lips but better cool toned nude. It's beautiful. They are so comfortable. They're shiny. I, I really enjoy them. They're great. Um, the next item that I purchased is the Revlon Kiss Glow Lip Oil. Um, so, you know, I like, I like lip oils and glowy things and there's a cat. Oh, hello big girl. Hello, big girl. You come in. Come in. Say hello. Our female cat, who never went missing. Odin is still missing. Um, she is so fat. She's so fat. She got fat for winter. She does it every year. She's coming in to look for something. Anyway, this is the oil. Mmm. Smells like dessert. 
So this is more of a like peachy nude shade, uh, but I really like it. And I mean, I just added gloss upon something that was already glossy. So obviously you're not going to be able to tell the difference. Um, but I really like both of them. And while I was looking for these and this, because I was like, did I declutter this? I couldn't find it. Um, but I found it in a lip drawer because I have three lip drawers. Um, when I was looking, I was like, I have a lot of lip products that I really, like, I want to use. When I look at my lip drawers, I'm like, I have so many lip products that I want to use. But I've only got one pair of lips. <laughs> it's like my eyeshadow palettes. Like, there's just not enough fucking days in my lifetime to use what I have, which is a shame. Um, but yeah. None of them going. None of them going because I want to. I want to use them all. So overall thoughts on this haul. Um, this was a little bit sort of out of my typical box. Uh, I don't. I don't. I do wear red lipstick, but I don't wear it often. And something like this would be quite quite high maintenance. Um, but because it was like red, the news, and I was like beauty news, and it's a beautiful like true red color. I was like, fuck it, yeah, I'm going to buy it. Um, and then I didn't use it. The ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, definitely, like, not... They weren't what I was expecting them to be. I went on sort of a ColourPop red hunt last year. I was trying to get, like, um, you know, red Super Shock Shadows. They actually don't have one. So they have, like, not a true red. And if you... If you're a fan of red, you'll get it. There's so... Every time I talk about red eyeshadow anything, people are like, that's red. It's not. It's not. It's pink. It's pink. <laughs> so, like, if you compare it to a red, you can really see how it's pink. Um, and, you know, I'm going for something very specific. And you probably... You know, if you're a fan of any particular colour, say you're a fan of like a blurple, um, then, you know, you will be looking for a very specific colour. Um, but people might look at a purple or a blue and go, well, this is what you want. This is the same thing. And you're like, no, it's not. But okay, thank you for the suggestion. Um, so I was looking for something very specific and they just don't have it. They don't have it. But I'm, you know, it's not like I can go in store and swatch Colourpop. I have to purchase it and pray that I'm hitting the right mark with something that I'm buying. It doesn't always happen. So, you know, those products I just don't, I don't really need in my life. The palettes... I don't regret purchasing these. I really wanted them uh, when we did get some in PR, but they don't send like two of everything. They send one. Um, and I was pretty keen on the orange palette and the yellow palette simply because I just don't really have anything that encapsulates color stories in this way. Like if I wanted to create an all yellow look or an all orange look, I would have to dig through my collection and like open every fucking palette and mm, no thank you I don't want to do that so it's kind of like you know convenience overall I can't say that I really regret any of these purchases if I could go back in time knowing what I know now I wouldn't have purchased these guys uh, because they're not what I want but like I said I didn't know that at the time and I probably wouldn't have purchased this simply because I don't wear it and if I'm gonna reach for a lip product and this has probably been the case since I purchased this and even before I purchased it I'm going for shades like this or like this so you know there's that but you win some you lose some but that's it. Feel free to leave your comments down below if you have any, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.